out, guys. Ow, your knee hit my foot. What's up, guys? It's another day. I hope you're having a good one. We are not hurt at all. Right now, we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Why am I talking like Because you're making fun of the people here. That's what you're trying to do. She's actually from Texas. pretty sick. <laughs> She's from Texas. She's special. Look at Milwaukee. Look at it. Look at it. I'm trying to look at it, but you keep screaming. Look at it. This is so cool. I am out here in Milwaukee with a ton of other creators. We are here to make one big video for someone by the name of Casey Neistat. But because of that, that means there's a lot of epic YouTubers here. Here in a fancy uh, restaurant. Why are there so many fancy people in Milwaukee? I, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I don't get it. So a lot of you guys in the very beginning, my first 100,000 subscribers, most likely came over from a dude named Casey Neistat. Sarah, I'm going to link this out of your video. And L here, you've been doing fantastic on YouTube for a while, but recently, Casey gave his stamp of approval. Yeah. How was that? That was insane. Hi. I'm L Mills, and I was only allowed to post this video under one condition. Please don't try this at home. She is someone who I think is pushing the boundaries of YouTube, creating content that's just brilliant. That was insane. I literally was like on my subscription page that night. Casey posted a new video. I was about to scroll past it. Then I saw the first line of the description. L of the Mills was like, stop. I'm like, no, he didn't. Watch the video. Full on dedication. Like, just like going on and on. I'm like, shit. Dude, it's so deserving. Thank so you. Like, Thank you. And I like, I didn't know what to say. So I just commented, holy shit. And then like, <laughs> Now we're here, like uh, Samsung yeah. and him kind of invited us all out, right? Yeah. Um, met him for the first time yesterday. It was like, it's like seeing a movie character in real life. I know. And especially because he doesn't wear the glasses and it's weird. Right? Yeah. It's I weird. honestly keep, I, kept, I said that in the car and everyone was like friends with Casey though, yeah. so no one got it. I was like, I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> yeah, we are about to go do something exciting, which I can't really film, so I'll update you later. Now at the airport. That was the quickest trip ever. One day. One day. One day. And our flight's delayed. Where's my Casey shout out? <laughs> okay. You sure? So we just recorded for about five or ten minutes and the camera wasn't recording. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care. <laughs> Link in bio. <laughs> so yesterday was a huge event put on by Samsung and Casey. Super sick that we get to be involved, but the thing that I took away from it was just the community is sick. Um, and we got to hang out with so many cool creators. It was crazy because there was like 15 of us and we all create, we're all into different things. Yeah. But the fact that we all create videos, it was like such a strong community feel the yeah. entire time. We all got along super, super well. Yeah. And I think it's super cool how Casey has been able to bring together just a lot of dope creators and just so many good vibes and I'm feeling inspired. He has good taste. Um, yeah, yeah. But my question. What's that? Is Elle has gotten a shout out from she Casey. Has. Peter has gotten a shout out from Casey. Yes, yeah, yeah. I've gotten a shout out. Sam has gotten a shout out. Mm -hmm. Where's your shout out, bro? Yeah, so we're actually working on this really, really big project. So the uh, reason he signed up with Samsung at all is because he's trying to build this crazy project to collaborate with me. You. Yeah, the video is going to be called John Hill is My Goddess. Uh, <laughs> actually sponsored by my friends over at Away. We literally travel everywhere with our Away luggage and they have other cool accessories on their site that you can check out that make for perfect holiday gifts. The holiday season is upon us. There is a perfect size and color for everyone and it makes it easy because there is a lifetime guarantee and a 100 day trial. You can choose from 10 different colors and five different sizes, but if you can't choose, you can get that Away gift card. Both sizes of carry-on case this is actually a smaller and bigger one, can charge your iPhone up to five times on one single charge. So if you have anything that's powered by a USB, this can do that. 
These things also have 360 degree wheels, so you can get through the airport super quick. Um, and also there's a TSA approved lock at the top, so you know. Oh, yeah. Bro, That's how we do it. Can you do, can you do a 360 pop, shove it, ollie? Same time. Do it, ready? Go. Swag. <laughs> if you guys wanna be as cool as us in airports, I'm actually gonna hook you up with a $20 discount. Just go to awaytravel.com slash Sarah and put in the code Sarah at checkout for literally $20 off. Dab, dab, dab. I'm sorry. I need to stop dabbing. I've been you dabbing. You said dad, 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 right? You didn't say dab. I, uh, yeah, yes. Dad, I miss you. Coming home for the holiday soon. With my away luggage. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back in New York City, back in the studio. I'm busy! <sighs> Anyways, so Milwaukee was super fun. I think as we're talking right now, Casey is below us, hammering out the edit that's going to be out on Monday. Um, but yeah, I've just been like chugging along, filming some videos. John, what have you been doing, home The place? same thing, dog. I've been working all day on some edits, just like everyone that works in this building, it seems like. Whoa, we're just so creative. I don't know how you got there. If you guys can tell, uh, we're at the point of the day where it's just like, wah, working. Anyways, I want to do a little New York adventure, maybe show you some Christmas vibes. Um, John, yes. whatever you do, just don't cut, my cut nose off. your nose off. Right. <laughs> John, John! <laughs> why, is why would choking be your first instinct? <laughs> okay, so it's turned into a snowy day. Um, it's not really snow though, it's like, well it's snow. It's just not sticking. So it just feels like really cold rain. I think we have the entire subway train to ourselves. Okay guys, uh, this is a first. We are completely alone on a subway train. Cody almost died because he is walking in the middle of the subway cart. What should we do? Should we have a dance party? <laughs> this is so exciting and creepy. Exciting and creepy. I'm concerned right now. So they light a pretty sick tree here at the New York City Stock Exchange and it's the 94th year they've done this annually and oh my gosh guys, look. Oh my gosh, it's it's beautiful. Are you feeling are you feeling the Christmas spirit guys? Because I am. It's snowing. We're in New York City, love and life. Boom. Don't let them I took to Twitter and I asked, what five questions do you guys have for me? Nate asked, where would you be now if YouTube didn't exist? What would you be doing? I would probably be hating my life being an electrical engineer because I majored in electrical engineering and computer science in school. Um, it was kind of worse, so I dropped out. And now I just make videos on the internet. So someone asked me, what frustrates you the most about life at NYC? No, the subway is no. great, but I wish I could just like open up an app, scan it, get by. This? Nah, man. Plus, where I get off on my stop, I don't have these machines. So always gotta think ahead. Okay, so someone asked, if you could wave a magic wand in context of being a creator, what would you make or change? I would change the fact that you have to sleep. I'm not about all of this culture of like, hustle, 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 entrepreneurship, don't sleep at all, because that's lame. You need to sleep and be a healthy human, but that doesn't mean that I can't hate sleep. I hate it. I hate taking a shower, going to the restroom, doing things that seem unproductive, but they're really you know, productive. 
So if I could not sleep, that would be my magic wand slash superpower. Do we know where we are? What happened to the daily peach? Will it ever come back? So if you don't know what the daily peach is, that was my daily podcast. It went on for about two months and I loved it and I enjoyed it, but it was my first experience with podcasting and I learned a lot and I also learned that I don't want to do it on a daily basis and I want it to be longer than 20 minutes. So that leads me to the next question. He asked, can you tell us a plan you have for 2018? Well, Yes, one of those plans is to bring back the podcast, but bring it back in a way that I'm stoked on it, I'm proud of it. I have sick guests because something that I love to do is interview people. I've done it in a ton of episodes of that creative life, and I'm really stoked to bring that side of it to these podcasts. I want it to be the way I listen to podcasts, hour-long podcasts, and so that's what I want it to be. And let me know if you want it to be also on YouTube. Do you like seeing the video side of podcasts? I do. I think that would be interesting. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this video. I'm very cold right now, uh, but make sure to check out the away link in the description below. Let me know if you like this video. Dab for the snow. I'm sorry, again, why am I dabbing? I just, I can't stop. Oh, this is a cool alley. Look how art this alley is, guys. New York is so art. <laughs> Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for that alley. And until next time, guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye!